people can be guided to Islam in a variety of ways, and sometimes those ways are counterintuitive. You know, a lot of people, they might see something that even <laughs> most Orthodox Muslims would shun as heretical or just not accurate. Maybe even they're watching non-Muslims talk about Islam. So da'wah and the sequence that people go through in their journeys and in their guidance is, is a complicated thing. And we should always kind of pause and hesitate to be too dogmatic. Like some people, you know, they go too hard on this. Like you can only take from the major scholars. You can only take from, you know, this, that, the third. Like, yeah, in an ideal world, okay, people would, but that's not reality. And we see that people get guided from all sorts of different things that are correct and not really correct or half correct or whatever all the time. So if you're in that situation, you need to be mature, right? And you need to realize that there are things that are called bridges, right? That something might have been a bridge for you to Islam, but it might not be sufficient enough to, to stay on forever. The, the purpose of a bridge is to cross it. It's not to set up shop and build your house on it, right? And so if you've had this sort of experience with uh, something or some movement or somebody or, or whatever, maybe that's a bridge that you've already crossed and now you need to look for something else that's more robust and that's more close to sort of what Islam really is. And that might be a variety of ways. I mean, today we have a lot of sort of online presence with, with YouTube or with actual websites that are dedicated to new Muslims. Uh, obviously, having people in your personal life is, is probably preferable as long as those people are reliable and fair. And so the thing is, you know, guidance is a dynamic thing and you just have to keep moving, right? Don't stay still. As we say, a rolling stone gathers no moss, right? You just, you keep on moving to the next thing. You keep on learning and growing and developing. And you realize that, you know, 10 years from now, you look back and you're kind of, you're going to laugh. You're going to chuckle. It's like, wow, you know, it's like when I first came along, it's like the thing that brought me to Islam or the thing that kind of I was really inspired by. Maybe I'm not inspired by it anymore, but at the time it was a really important thing that brought me to the door of faith or brought me to the doorstep of Islam.